Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to talk about staining wood veneer and then cutting it on your Cricut machine. Now this video is sponsored by Verathane, however all projects and opinions are my own. So what is my favorite way to stain wood veneer or just about anything? That would be a color wood stain. As you may have guessed, I love colorful things and crafts. So wood stain like this vintage aqua from Verathane is totally something that I love. So I thought I would give it a try on wood veneer because if you didn't know, you can cut wood veneer on any Cricut machine. So you can cut it into shapes and make a sign. I'm gonna make this Easter version. However, you can use this stain and this technique for projects all year long. They make a variety of colors, so I'm going to use the stain itself as well as something to seal it with. So I always get asked about sealing options and their polyurethane is a great sealing option for crafts like this or any other crafts that you might be tackling. So first, let's take a look at the supplies we're gonna use for this. The supplies you're gonna need are as follows. You will need the wood veneer, of course, and I'm using a light color wood veneer. It's a maple color. And then I'm going to put mine on a sign and I have a wood panel here. And I am gonna add vinyl words to it after I cut the wood veneer. So I have a piece of scrap vinyl here. I have some paint to paint my wood sign. Because I'm using vinyl, I'll need a scraper and a weeding tool. And then I'm using Verathane wood stain. So the wood stain comes in colors. I'm using this gorgeous vintage aqua color. And then to seal everything in, I am gonna use a water-based polyurethane. Then I do have some transfer tape as well for the vinyl. So now let's take a look at staining those wood sheets. I like to stain mine before I cut them. Be sure to stir or shake the stain well, and we're gonna apply it in the direction of the wood grain, and then you allow it to sit for three to five minutes. The longer you let it sit, the darker the color will be. And I do want a fairly dark color, so I'm probably gonna let it sit the five minutes, and then I have a rag here to wipe away the excess. Now this is an oil-based product, so I am using a disposable brush just so I don't have any cleanup. You could use a disposable brush, foam brush, what have you, or you would need a product to clean your brush with if you were gonna use your good brushes for this portion. So I'm just gonna brush this on, allow it to sit about five minutes, and I do like to do this before I cut it. Any type of stain, this material is very, very thin. So it is a wood veneer, it's as thin as paper, so it does have a tendency to curl with any moisture applied whatsoever. And I would rather it curl now so I can sort of flatten it back out to cut it than my finished cut pieces to curl up. So I prefer running the stain over it now while it's a big sheet and then I go ahead and cut it. So we'll go ahead and allow this to sit five minutes and then we'll wipe away the excess. It's been right at five minutes so I'm going to start just wiping away the excess with my rag. And you may be able to tell it has gorgeous color. However, that wood grain still comes through. So wood veneer is a real wood product. Can be stained, painted, whatever. And it does have a wood grain. Now we're gonna let this dry about an hour before we cut it or anything. So it does need to dry. And if you wipe away the excess really, really well, the quicker it will dry. So I'm just gonna keep running over this with my rag to make sure all of that excess has been removed. Now you can see the color, but that wood grain showing through. So gorgeous color, but you still get that wood look. And now that you've stained your wood veneer, allowed it to dry. Remember it dries within an hour, so super quick, quick dry time. Once you have it stained and dried, it's time to cut it on your Cricut machine. Now the process is very, very simple, and I do have another video on cutting wood veneer, so if you want like a more in-depth explanation, I will drop a link to that video below. However, I just wanted to quickly go through how to cut the wood veneer that we stained with the Verathane Vintage Aqua. Now that the wood veneer is dry, we're gonna add it to a strong grip mat. Now you might notice, like I said, it might be wavy in some areas, I think if you're using it for a project, you glue it down, it probably wouldn't be a problem. I do pick the area I like the best. So I like the wood grain up here best. So I'm putting it in the upper left to cut out of that area. Then we're just gonna use a brayer 
over the entire thing and push it down really, really well into the mat. And I even go like in both directions, push it down really well. Then we wanna add painter's tape all the way around the outside edge. So just barely grip the outside edge of that wood veneer and add your tape and then press the tape down well. And you do wanna do this on all four sides and like say this edge that's gonna be in my machine, I wanna be sure, press it down really well and then you wanna trim away the excess. So you don't want the excess of any tape hanging over your mat. And in this case, this tape is wide enough or I could use the piece I cut off over here on the other side and not waste any tape. Once you have your tape on all four sides, it's time to cut the wood veneer in your Cricut machine. Now you can cut wood veneer with the deep point blade. That means you can use an Explore series or a Maker series. I'm gonna use an Explore Air 2. So I have my dial turned to custom and I've picked wood veneer and it tells me to add the deep point blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my mat and load it. And then press go to cut. The machine will make about four passes and then it will be done cutting. Before you eject it from the machine, be sure to peel up one side of the tape and just lift the veneer. Make sure it looks like it's cut all the way through. Maybe even check some of your fine details. Mine looks fine. If yours is not cut all the way through and you have not ejected it from the machine, you can press the go button again to go over the same cut lines again. So now let's take a look at these cuts. I removed the tape from the outside edge and then if you flip it over, you should be able to peel back your mat from the material and then just pop out your wood veneer piece. And this one is ready for our sign. And you do wanna pop out any, that little, that little small nose there. So now this one's ready. So this was cut on the wood veneer setting. I did wanna pause here a minute. So the wood veneer setting currently, and I do not know why, is only on computer. I think it got mixed up with like the wood settings that are for the maker and aren't available on mobile. So you cannot pick wood veneer on mobile. I tried this sheet right here that is not cut. I tried several different things on mobile, including genuine leather, craft foam, I mean like I did up to 12 passes. I just could not get a good cut without the wood veneer setting from Cricut. So I would recommend the computer and the wood veneer setting if at all possible. So now you can apply the poly and seal everything. So I'm just gonna open this poly and it does say to stir it well, do not shake. So I'm just gonna stir this really well. And this will dry clear, but it will go on milky. And the coats are about two hours apart. So I'm gonna do one coat with the wood grain. I'm gonna wait a couple hours and do a second coat if needed. You may or may not need a second coat on the veneer. And the finish of this is up to you. Like you would not have to add the sealer on the top. I do tend to like the finish. So I did a satin finish on this one. You could do like a glossy finish if you wanted a more glossy look. So you could pick the type of finish that matches the project that you're actually using. So I'm gonna allow this to dry and then we can add it to our sign. The sign itself I coated with two coats of the Tester's Craft and Matte and this is dried completely. And now for my veneer, I'm just going to add a quick setting glue that is good for wood. And then you might need to hold this down while it dries. So it just depends on how much your project has curled up. Again, it's a thin wood. A lot of times it will curl. So I just apply my glue all over the back, then add it to my project, and then maybe weight it down while it dries. Again, a fast setting glue I find works a little bit better. That way you don't have to hold it down as long. So I'm just going to add the glue here and then put the wood veneer piece into place. And I did go ahead and cut and weed some vinyl to add to the sign as well. And I'll do that after this has dried. So I'm just gonna add that gorgeous stained wood veneer to the sign. And I'm just gonna put something over the top to weight it down, make sure it stays stuck while that glue dries. Once the glue and everything's dry, your wood veneer is in place. I just added my vinyl to actually some strong grip transfer tape. Um, the glitter 
likes Strong Grip a lot better. And then I'm just going to add that over here to the side, burnish it down, peel this back, and then my project will be done. And now I have a completed project with a wood grain look. So you might be asking yourself if you like things colorful, Angie, why not just use paint? Because I do love, in my home, I, lo I love things farmhouse style, rustic, so I love, love, love the wood grain to pull through on my projects. So a product like this gives me the best of both worlds. So colorful for my spring sign, that vintage aqua look, but the wood grain pulling through because this is a stain. So it is a wood stain. It is not a paint. So you can still see that gorgeous wood grain through my wood veneer. And because I used the wood veneer, I could cut it into intricate shape using any Cricut machine that I might have, Explore or Maker Series, as long as I have a deep cut blade. So if you've ever thought, I wonder if I could stain that wood veneer before I cut it on my Cricut, the answer is yes. And if you're not into colorful projects like I am, you can get the stain in wood tones as well. So if you wanna use a wood tone stain, the same steps would apply for this project. So you would use the same steps for cutting on your Cricut machine. So whether you go colorful or wood tone, consider staining your wood veneer before you cut it on your Cricut machine for all your wood veneer projects. So now all that's left to do is to pick up your supplies and make a project of your very own. So I have the links to where to purchase the products that I used, including the Varathane wood stain and polyurethane. I also have a link to the cut file for the project that I use, and I am offering that up for free, and I'll have a link for that in the description below this video. So to find all those links, you want to head to the description below the video. If you're on computer, scroll down, click show more. If you're on mobile, click the arrow to expand the description or swipe up on the video depending on how you're watching. You'll find a list of the links and then you can pick and choose which ones you need. Now, if this video helped you and you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, drop down in the comment section and ask away. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.